every single car in the crew motor fest let's go all 564 cars i'm gonna let you know what's good what's not good we're starting off here with a cura basically honda and we've got three nsx's got a drift edition the regular edition wow look at the drifting with that wang and then we've got the gt3 variant as well so pretty nice selection there of nsx's nx nsi's aerial we've got the iconic aerial atom the 2015 variant and then we've got the nomad the like dune buggy one as well aston martin oh the v12 vantage zagato from 2012 then the vantage s which is kind of a cute car but i prefer the vanquish this is a car that i drove so much of in the crew too and we've got a vulcan okay we've got the vulcan and we've got a duke variation of the vulcan so we've got the vanquish and also the vulcan we don't have the valkyrie though no valkyrie from aston martin maybe that will be added audi we've got the r8 coupe no longer making this car this is now a legacy car my word but we've got the r8 with that v10 and then we've got the rs5 coupe quite a sensible car for the crew with a um exclusive livery here and then oh is that the rs3 coming up yes the rs3 that's the like touring car version isn't it um front wheel drive so horrendous oversteer uh, so understeer i should say oh my word understeer Here's the Audi S1. That's a rally, or is it a rally cross variant? And then we've got an Audi TT 2017. It says Quattro on the front. And yes, it's a four wheel drive. So we've got a four drive Audi, Audi TT with a fixed rear wing on that one. No pop up. Bentley, we've got the Continental Super Sport. Absolutely iconic car from 2010. And then we've got the GT3 basically variant. Look at that with the big front split of the big wang. And this one, the Bentley Mulliner Bacala. I didn't even know this was a thing. The Bentley Mulliner Bacala. What the hell is that? BMW, we've got the i8 electric version. And then we've got a uh, sort of like, um, you know, liveried up version. BMW M2, absolutely. I mean, one of the best bang for buck cars you can get. Then we've got an M4. And after this, oh, it's the, B it's the M4 like GT3 variant. Is it G3 or DTM? I can't remember. GT3 or DTM iconic livery and then the m5 i don't really like the m5 to be honest quite an ugly car m5 drift edition oh the big boy m6 gt3 love that car that's awesome and is that the m8 yes we've got the m8 coupe as well so we've got m6 gt3 and we've got an m8 and then we've got an m8 competition coupe by the way this has the most ridiculous grill I think I've ever seen, even for BMW. Look how obscene that grill is. It's ostentatious. And then we've got an M8 Performance Edition. Oh no, is an X6 coming up? Yeah, we've got an, M an X6. Please do not buy that car. Then we've got the Z4, the old Z4, the really ugly one. But the new Z4 is really nice. But the old Z4, we've got it in Rally Raid. And we've got it, is this going to be Drift? Yeah. And then we've got the Z4 GT3, the little classic. Love it. Z4 GT3, but this is a new Z4. This is quite a good looking car. I quite like that car. Then the Agent Edition with a fi uh, fixed rear wing. And then we've got just a standard that can be Z4 Spider. No, Z4 Motorfest Edition. That's the car that I've got in the game. And then we've got some motorbikes. 3MW, the R1200. Pretty cool. Are we going to get, is it the S1000 BMW D? Got the Adventure variant. Yes, the S1000 RR. Those are pretty popular bicycles, so they're in the game. Okay, nice. So, nice selection there from BMW cars and bikes. But Bugatti, we've got the Bleed. Or the, what a ridiculous looking car. 1,850 horsepower. Just stupid. Stupid, stupid. I'm so good, I'm actually choking on my own disbelief. And this is a Cento Diecchia car I didn't even know existed. And then the Chiron, we know about the Chiron. I think we're going to have a few variants of Chiron. Carbon basically that's dubai police edition isn't it and then we've got the super sport that's an actual one then the devo i didn't know about the devo and the devo emerald storm okay and the devo magma very nice oh old school bugattis look at these very ugly looks a bit like a concord doesn't it at the front something's not right there no idea this was a thing like the the black car and then we got the proper bugatti from back in the day and the veyron the car that brought it all back, 1,200 brake horsepower, four-wheel drive, W12 engine. Very nice. Cadillac, what we got? We got this old school. Oh, we got the taxi, old school taxi. And this one's cycling. This is the most aerodynamic car I've ever seen. 
It was like two cruise missiles. Then the El Dorado, that's genuinely a classic. Oh, we got a Cadillac Escalade in the house. If you want to arrive in style. And is this a drag? Racing edition Escalade? Ridiculous and I love it. And a rally edition. If you remember the Crew 1, you could get like a rally and drift and drag version of every car. It was so much fun. Got the Camaro here from Chevrolet. Very nice. And the RS. I mean, that's quite a modern looking car. For a car that came out in 1969. Really like that. And then we've got a Rally Raid. Rally Edition. And then we've got the newer Camaro. This is a car that I drove a lot in the Cree 1 actually. This specific yellow one. That was a real favourite of mine. Then we've got a Racing Edition. And then a Dragster. Rally Raid. And then Rally. And a Monster Truck. How, how stupid is that? Monster Truck Variation. SS Bend. Z28s. We've got... My word, there's going to be quite a lot of Chevrolets, actually. Yeah, they've got the Camaro ZL1. Is this the Z... No, that's the C... ZL1. Then we've got the old school C2. Very nice. C2, other edition. Then we've got a C3. What is that? A C3. That's like an obscene drag variant. Then the C7 Stingray. Really nice car. More C7. C7 ZR1. That's the latest ZR1, though, isn't it? I don't think there's a C8 ZR1 yet. Gold Nugget, um, Drop Tops, uh, C7, which makes it look really different. Right, here we go. Here's a C8. Oh, we've got the C8, C8R. Um, love this car. GTE variant, IMSA, WEC, GT3 as well now. It dominates, doesn't it? In uh, WEC. C6Rs as well. Chevrolet Impala. So many Chevrolets. Silverado, you see a lot of these in America. And the Monster Truck Edition. So great. If you're a big Chevrolet fan, the Crew Motor Fest might be the game for you. Here's Chrysler. Oh, I've driven this car in real life. The Chrysler 300. I absolutely ragged it round. And <laughs> I re it's a semi-automatic car. It's quite an interesting one. So I'll definitely be buying that in the Crew Motor Fest. And we've got a stretch version as well. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you want to see more Crew videos. Citroen C3 Rally Edition. That is a very successful car. And a Citroen GT, that's still, I believe, a prototype. Speaking of prototypes, we've got some other interesting cars here. The DMC DeLorean, some sort of alien hunter thing. And look at that, that's basically a Batmobile, that one. And the Tempesta. And what on earth is this thing? The acid design looks obscene. Skip over the boats. This is the DeLorean. Is that why? It's an order right there. It's a DeLorean from DMC, isn't it? It looks like it's written the other way around. Unless I got it wrong. Maybe I got that wrong. But we're going to head on down to Dodge, where we've got the Dodge Challenger. We'll have the old one here. And then the new one, I've been around in that in Las Vegas. That's a lot of power. Got the police one. Um, more challenges coming through. Dragsis Rally Raid, etc. And then we've got the Hemi one. And then we've got the Charger. So we've got Dodge Charger here. A little bit more sensible, maybe. And then the Dodge Viper. Here we go. Dodge Vipers, no rear wang. And then we've got the competition with the rear wang. Drift Edition, Dragster, Lightning, and then a ridiculous one. Ducati. Got some nice Ducati bikes here. The Monster. What's the one at the end, though? From Ducati, Panigale. And then here we go. Fender. Some old school sort of uh, US machines there. Right, here we go. Ferrari. What we got? A 365. Then we've got a 458 Speciali, and then another 458 just in, oh no, Drift Edition, 458 GT2, 488 Pista, and then here we go, the 488 G3, the car that I've driven in real life. Absolutely love that. I'll definitely be buying that in the crew and giving you a comparison. How realistic is the crew 48 GT3 to real life? I can let you know. Here's the 599. This is when Fry went through like a bit of a weird styling phase. And the 8112, obviously the Enzo's iconic. The F1, F12 F was a bit of a weird one. Um, you can see like really like long bonnets and like weird sizes back then, Ferrari. But F40 classic. Then there's an F40 like LM. I didn't know there was an F40 LM. FXX and then the LaFerrari. So we got all the big ones from Ferrari in there. No F50 though, right? It's a bit unusual. Ford, we've got the Crown Victoria. That's kind of weird not being a police car. <laughs> Doesn't it? With like no livery on it. Ford uh, Crown Stretch. And then the New York Taxi we've got. Ford F-150 Raptors. 
including an F-150 Raptor Racing Edition, which is just ridiculous. Another police one. This is like a Dakar Star 1 Rally Raid. Then we've got, is that going to be a Fiesta? Yes, Fiesta. And then a Fiesta RS. Focus RS, my bad. Focus RS. That'll be very popular in the UK. Drift Edition, Dragster Edition. All specced out. Then is that the new RS here? Different spec RS. Ford GT, the 2006 one. That's one more, sorry, I should say. And then we've got the new Ford GT as well in Dubai spec. Oh, and the Ford GT LM, the GTE. Very nice. That's going to be awesome to drive. Then the Mustang. Very popular in these sort of games. Normally quite cheap, the Mustangs, aren't they? If I've even got one. Uh, Mustang GTs. And is that going to be a Shelby? Yeah, Shelby GT500. Very nice. The Shelby version based on the Mustang. That's awesome. And here we've got Forsberg. They're doing mods of looks like 350Z or 370Zs. So that's great. Uh, GMC, that's an electric Hummer. <laughs> Bit of a ridiculous car. 1,000 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds. Harley Davidson, got some Harleys in here if you want to cruise around. Honda, let's see what we got. Civic Type R from 2016. Then the new Civic Type R. Ah, okay. Facelift. And then the Honda NSX Classic S2000, which we'll have in Motorfest. And then a performance, a Red Panther performance or drift? I think performance. Honda CBR 1000 RR. That is a nice bicycle. I say motorbike. Here is an old school Hummer from 2006. Only 300 brake horsepower in this one. And we'll have it in Monster Variant, Rally Raid, different ones. And there's a concept one as well. Let's have a look. Concept Enforcer Unit. Indian Motorcycles. Got the Scout. That's the iconic one, isn't it? Infinity. Only one Infinity. It looks like kind of a weird hybrid between a Nissan GTR and a Lexus RCF, doesn't it? Kind of a weird car, that one. Ivory Tower, they're the developers of the game. They've got their own little buggy. Here we go, Jaguar. We've got a concept car from Jaguar. Then we've got E-Type, old school. And then we've got F-Type. Yes, love the F-Type. That is a real world aspirational car. So I think I'll be buying that in the crew. Jeep, if you've got a trademark next to their name. That's probably because the Jeep Grill. Do you know the Jeep Grill is trademarked? This iconic one here. So interesting there from Jeep. And we've got some Wranglers. Kawasaki's. Is it the Fireblade? Oh, it's a Ninja. Kawasaki Ninjas here. And the Z1000. Look how badass they are. Kerning's egg. Quite a few Kerning's eggs. Got the Aguera. And then we've got the uh, classic CCR with no rear wang. No top gear wing on it. And then the Jumeirah. I didn't know about the Jumeirah. And the Jesco. Wow, Koenigsegg. I know they've come up with like an insane electric motor that's like really revolutionary. KTM. Are we going to have bikes and cars? Let's see. Yes, we have the bikes. And yes, we've got the GT2, the Expo. Ridiculous car that. Raced in real life. And then we've got actual Expos here. And then a Spear. What is that? <laughs> Spear Racing Edition. Lamborghini. Here we go. Aventador. Classic. I mean, Lamborghini looks so good. And then we've got a Countach. Is that a new Countach? Are they making a new Countach? I did not know that at all. They've got the old Countach, new Countach. Diablo coming up, obviously. Then Gallardos, I believe, here, the two Gallardos. Is that Mercury like? No, Hurricane. And then Hurricane Super Trofeo. That's an awesome car. Performante. And now the Mercury Lago. Look at this. So good for a car from 2006. It doesn't look like it came out almost yesterday. 2003 even, wow. Then we've got Revel 2. And then a the Reventon here coming up next. Car designed to look like an F22 Raptor. Is that the Shan? Yeah, the Shan Roaster. What a weird car that was. Speaking of weird cars, a Terzo. That is obscene. And now it gets a bit all sick. Urus, obviously, and then the Venino. The most ridiculous car looking car in the world, surely. Land Rover. Not the biggest selection from Land Rover, unfortunately. Oh, no. Only Defenders, no Discoveries or... Uh, Range Rovers. Lotus, we've got the Avija. That might be a uh, electric car. The Pure Edition. And we've got the Evora. And then we're going to have an Exige coming up as well. So there's no Lotus Elise in the crew Motorfest. If you're a Lotus Elise fan. Maserati. What have we got? Obviously, Test Drive Unlimited, the MC12, was an iconic car for the Millionaire's Challenge. We've got MC12 here. And the MC20, presumably. Yes, the MC20. Quite a controversial car. But we've got that. Mazda. 
Got the newish MX-5. There we go. And the old MX-5 as well, the classic, which we'll have in Rally Raid and Rally. And then we've got the RX-3 coming up. RX-7. And then we'll have an RX-8 as well. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So quite a few rotaries here from Mazda. And then we've got the... Oh, yeah, this classic RX-7 as well. Mercedes AMG C63. Very nice car. We've got... It would be nice to tune that one up in the crew. In the coupe as well. Then we've got the C63 Touring car. And the coupe Touring car. And the Mercedes AMG GT with the massive bonnet. And the SL63. But where's the SLS? Oh, here's the SLS. Where's the SLK? Oh, maybe it's a Mercedes-Benz. So there's the SLS. Here we've got 300 SLR. And then we've got the, <laughs> the GLC. And here is the SLR McLaren. Wow, I really would like to have that. I think I had it in the Crew 1. Got some cars from Mini here. Mini Coopers. All of the newish ones. Very nice. That is an ugly car. That's the world's ugliest car. Mitsubishi. What do we have? Got the 3000 GT. It's got an Eclipse in here as well. The FTOs there. Great car in GT. And then we've got Evos. Nice. Evo Black Edition. And then the Lancer. So WRC spec. McLaren, what we've got? We've got the 12C. And we've got the 720S. Is that a LT? Yes, yeah, 765 LT. We've got the F1. We've got the P1. We've got the center as well. We've got the P1 Gold Line. And then we've got the center. So a decent, decent, decent lineup from McLaren. Nissan now, 300ZX. It's kind of got that Bugatti vibe at the front. 350, 370 from Nissan, 370 Racing. Look at that front diffuser, front splitter even. 370 in a <laughs> pickup truck. We've got the Fair Lady ones. Here we go, GTR. So we've got the um, the new GTRs here. In fact, 2020 edition, yeah. Then we've got the R390, often forgotten. And then there's only one Skyline, R34 variant. No R33, no R32. Just R34s, which is the best one, as we know. Hang on a second, they've got the Paul Walker edition. They've got the Paul Walker R34, aka the high octane. Very nice. Pagani, the most ridiculous interiors of cars you're ever going to see. They've got the Hawara. And then we've got the Zonda F, and then we've got the Zonda uh, R as well. The all-carbon one. They are ridiculous on the interior. Peugeot, there's no RCZ. Bring the RCZ, the crew. You're a French game. Come on. We need we need the best per car Peugeot ever made. Pontiac going to be Firebird here, going to be Firebird Central. And the GTA from Pontiac. And the GTA, the Judge. That's from Dukes of Hazard or something, isn't it? Porsche. What we got from Porsche? We've got the 550 Spider. Then we've got the 718 Spider, quite an interesting looking uh, car, that one. Classic 911s here. The new Carrera 4S. Very nice. I mean, Porsche is just so good, isn't it? Classic 911s here. Remember, there is a 911 playlist. And then we've got the 911 GT1. And then the classic 911 G3 Cup. And that's a 911 G3 RS, isn't it? Yeah, 911 G3 RS, a modern classic for sure, including a paint splatter one where you can't actually see out of it. Winter Agent. I've never seen that variant before of the 911. That's cool. Oh, the 917K. Awesome. In classic livery and the 918 Spider. Amazing. And then this is the... No. Is that the Carrera GT coming up? Here's a 928. The classic Porsche is Carrera GT. Yes. 2003 Carrera GT. Beastly, beastly car. Went up against the SLR, didn't it? We've got Caymans and uh kns and we've got a panamera as well and then tycon right at the end electric prototypes look at this awesome crazy stuff is this where the red bull racing car is going to be as well we will see look at that no it isn't but we've got some fire tires and stuff like that there's red bull coming out here's ram it's got some big old ones for ram and then the red bull we've got the red bull rb13 for 2017 and the rb14 for 2018 very nice and the alt livery that was actually a livery wasn't it at the time the testing one very cool there renault only two cars from renault what is going on the megan and the rs12 was it rough we got some modified porsches here very nice celine does celine still do stuff yes they do s1s and s7s classic cars from the old games as well shelby got their own line as well so interesting Spiker, surely Spiker don't make cars anymore. These cars were in Test Drive Unlimited, the original. Hang on a second, that's Spitfire. And you get an actual Spitfire in the game. Right, Suzuki got the GSX R1000R. 
Very nice. So going to be some battles at 1000cc. Here's a Toyota Supra car that I've driven in real life on the track. So we'll definitely be buying that. And then we've got this cool Supra made in Japan edition. Coming up to TVR, do we have the Tuscan? Do we have the Cerberus? We've got the Griffin Cigar. No Tuscan. No TVR Tuscan there. Crazy. Right, folks, we've got the Beatles. And then we've got a Golf R. No, Golf GTI. Then the buggy. That looks like it's based on the T-Rock car that I've driven. That's absolutely horrendous. And a racing Tuareg. <laughs> really weird. Yamaha. We've got the V-Max and the YZR. And there we go. That's the Crew Motor Fest. All of the cars. 564. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more in the Crew Motor Fest. And I will do my best. I'll see you. See you next time.